Congratulations to all the award recipients. And now we're fortunate to hear reflections from two other students. The first is Michaela Rakes, um, majoring in Comparative Studies, and the second is Henry Tsai, also majoring in Comparative Studies. Michaela? you're all baking in this warm California day, so I'll try to keep this short. Um, I want to start by congratulating all the graduates and their families. It has certainly been a long and full four years, and I think I speak for all of us when I say we definitely couldn't have done it without the support of our family and friends. I'm honored to stand in front of you today to share a few words about this amazing program. The Center for Comparative Studies in Race and Ethnicity has been my academic home here at Stanford since I set foot on campus freshman year. It's a program that attempts to tackle one of the biggest issues that faces our society today. Race and ethnicity is present in all aspects of our lives, from our daily interactions with classmates, to the television shows we watch, to the classes that we take. CSRE has provided us with a place to study issues of race, power, and privilege in a way that is applicable and functional for the many different fields we pursue. Similarly, CSRE provides not only support, but an intellectual basis for the many student groups, activities, and events we are active in outside of our studies. Whether we're pursuing degrees to be doctors, teachers, or engineers, this department has prepared us to critically analyze the world in which we live and to generate solutions. There is one value that has been consistently reinforced through each and every course I have taken with CSRE. That value is responsibility. Just as Mahatma Gandhi said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. CSRE has cultivated in us a great sense of personal responsibility for the people, the histories, and the cultures we have encountered over our studies. We are taught that the future is in our hands, that the change we wish to see in the world begins right inside of each and every one of us. I hate to break it to you, but as CSRE graduates, we have a bit more responsibility than our peers. We are set with the task of bringing our knowledge and gifts to a world that increasingly fails to acknowledge the power that race still has in our society and societies across the globe. Today I want to share with you some wise words from a spiritual activist and author, Marianne Williamson. I'm sure you've heard these words in some form or another before, as they have been used by leaders ranging from Nelson Mandela to the infamous basketball coach, Ken Carter. She says, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us most. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and famous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is, in, that is within us. It is not just in some of us, but in all of us. And when we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So to the graduates of 2010, may you go into the world and set aside your fears, accept your greatness, and be powerful beyond measure. 
On behalf of this graduating class, I want to thank CSRE for giving us the tools to set aside that fear and for asking who are we not to be the change we wish to see in the world. Thank you.